How do you even top that? <laughs> Very carefully is how. Welcome back. <laughs> we finished our break. Tai Tai worked on his palette animations. That's some more. It's glowing like crazy, yo. <laughs> and I can't stop drinking. <laughs> Water. <laughs> oh, by Mario and Luigi themselves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's time for a sunset stroll. Oh, there's the yellow switch palace. Oh, hey. Cool. I guess we gotta go to the beach to get to it. Yeah. Beach party. Oh, boy. What? No, I just don't like replacing the, the darkest color with such a bright color. Yeah. Because everything look really washed out. Otherwise, this looks okay. It's just kind of hurt my eyes. So I guess we gotta find a P switch. Well, this doesn't look like offensive or anything. This is an ancient music track, by the way. Oh yeah, it is. This is like early ad music. This was. This I was... used this in a in a video, or I used this in a in a in a. Yoshi's Island 1 remake video that I did at one point. I'm just that was wondering. from like seven years ago. I'm wondering. Oh shit, it's your friend. Diggin' Chuck. Point stock for not not having a place for the boulders to spill out. <laughs> hmm. Though I'm curious, um. I'm, I'm trying to remember, was this before or at like. How, how late after this was we figured out, um. Basically, what we were doing, I was there while we were trying to figure out ad music, and we were converting songs through Tiny MM. And I'm trying to remember how long this came out after we figured out that Tiny oh. MM has the octaves inverted. You have to flip the uh, octave switches around in order for it to work right. I don't know. I, I really wasn't involved with the whole music portion. I was only involved with it really early, so. Like, Mario Hacking had existed for... since about 2000, when that's when Lunar Magic first came out. Ad music showed up probably around like 2008, I wanna say? Yeah, that sounds about right. Cause that's about the time when Ketastrophe was being worked on, and I think we found the first Japanese ad music. Yes. It turns out, Japan has no care for if your ROM runs on a console or not. Nope. Because it only ran in CSNES. <laughs> Echo Buffer. Echo Buffer Overflow. Yeah, so the early days of music hacking were really weird. Like, ad music came with a few, and for the at the beginning, nobody had, really like, understood how to do the music. It had, Actually, like, it had like, Rainbow... It had a Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road. It got Double Dash Rainbow Road in one of the later packs. The Haruhi ending theme. Um... <laughs> There's one other really this big Chuck one. has gotten me all three times. <laughs> it's because you expect the ball to keep going, but it doesn't. It obeys the laws of physics and you can't comprehend them. <laughs> but there was there was one other song it came with, and I don't remember. Oh uh, no, there were like there were like a dozen songs it came but, with. But like the, the there was one that like everyone used that it came with, and I can't. Remember I don't remember. Was. You'd have to go and try to f dig up the old ad music stuff. And, yeah, I know. I know. The Rainbow Road mix was really overused. A like lot half of the reason, it. half the reason, Keytastrophe. Uh, we, I've, rec I've we've referenced this hack a few times. It's made by a friend of mine named SNN, and uh, he, I think he's watching this. So hey, bud, how you doing? Um, <laughs> but it was a it was a hack at the time that was notable for having I I believe it was it was either fully custom music. That he was writing, or yes. it was uh, it was new ports that nobody had, had it was it was done music before. that he was writing. That's what I that's what I think it was. Uh, I guess this is a reset. Um, but yeah, so it was it was interesting because it was right at that time where people were still figuring out how to do music. It was just I know okay we're going down here now. Fuck. 
I figured I was just going anything. straight. I figured I was gonna go straight back the other way. I wasn't expecting a pipe to take me back. Damn it! I wasn't expecting convenience. It literally said in the message box, take the P-Switch with you. You think I read these things? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's my fault. But no, add music was really big because at the time, the only other way to change your music was to, um, patch your ROM to use a later version of the, the Nintendo's music engine, and to basically just copy and paste in music from Mar uh, Super Mario All-Stars. So, yeah, a lot of hacks, point, a lot of hacks just had Mario Bros. 2 and Mario Bros. 3 music, because that's all they could do. Mm -hmm. The first, the first song I tried porting was, um, Ridley's theme. I think that's, that's one of the ones that helped them figure out it was, um, the octaves were reverse. Because... I remember, I remember... SNN was one of the very few people who was doing music porting at the time, and so yeah. you could make requests for it. And I remember one of the first three things I requested of him was fucking Sanctuary Fortress. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think it was ever made, and I'm, I don't blame you if, if it wasn't. Like, what was I what thinking? Did you use in, what did you use in, in Central Production, then? Uh, X Not Fortress. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember now. We didn't have Sanctuary Fortress, so we used uh, X Not. The only level I liked from that hack. Hey, what about my other levels? Eh. Thanks. I didn't like the Muncher Bridges they added to the your, your world one I can't level. do this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having an aneurysm. Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the problem was the, the post-game, uh, or not the post-game, the, there's a second pass of difficulty for that hack that had, like, no one from the actual team on it. <laughs> so... They added munchers to the very first level. Did we say it... what what this is? Oh, Mario World Central production. It was the this first. Is, this was the first collaboration that uh, SMW Central ever put out. It was um, a train wreck. Hi, I, I, I was wreck. also involved in that one. God, I just realized how many of these of these things I've been involved in over the I years. I wasn't involved in Holy it, but shit. I shit all over it. I didn't yeah, like well. it one bit. <laughs> but no, uh, like. Anyway, it was the first collaboration that we ever did, and yeah, it, it has problems. It, it shows its age. But, it was really interesting doing it. No, um, the whole reason we did it was because there was a myth, not a myth, it was a, a well-documented fact at the time that, like, collaboration hacks just did not work. Get finished. They did not get finished, and that the was that. At that point, the only finished ones were the VIPs. ASMT came after Central Production, I think. I think so. Because it was, it was, or it was right around the same time. It, around the same time, but yeah, the the big the big thing is the only completed ones ever were the VIPs, and anyone who's ever played a VIP can tell you they're awful. So, <laughs> actually, because... I think the way it works that fish that fish was a blind jump. Uh, I think the way it works was production was in progress, then A ASMT. Started we gotta explain something else. Finished. We gotta explain another one for the people. Oh god, that shell. <laughs> uh, I'm just yeah. gonna say it. Uh, ASMT is called a Super Mario thing. It was put together by um, the, members the of Talkhouse, Talk House, which is Raukhouse Forum. And uh, I didn't I think, like that one either. <laughs> I think you don't like anything. Uh, but I think that was completed while production was, was in, in, in progress, progress or being stalled and Speaking I think stalled. I picked it up again and I was like if they can do it so can we sort of feeling yeah so like oh, we're up here now so eventually we got it done and we released it on like New Year's Eve 2010 I and think and I could barely beat it while having a, a cheat on to give me a cape forever. <laughs> it is hard. It, it has problems. It has so many problems. Um, we'll get right back into that maybe. But uh, yeah, we beat that level. Uh, it didn't. It was there. the the level <laughs> just sort of happened. It was the first half was find a P switch and then take a pipe that's, that's conveniently placed. And the second half was here. Have the P switch right before you need it. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything special. Actually, let's look at the scores real quick. 
But yeah, we just sort of talked over that one again. Yeah, above average scores, and it's that's that's okay. It's okay. It's a, it it did its job. It it looked like it was in a sunset. Let's go along the beach. Night swimming, also eleventh place. Nice. We're probably not going to be able to talk about production anymore. No. <laughs> because it's going to be too good. Oh my. Oh, that's pretty. Look at those forest tiles using dark colors. Look how pretty they are. Oh look, there's another color. Your aesthetic. Fight me. I mean way better than you do. Is that a... Is that an achievement? <laughs> He's gone silent. Yeah. So, this is using forest tiles, ghost house tiles, and that cool underwater background that I'm a fan And of. the... I think the moon is from... imported from the Star Road? On the overworld? Is it? It might be. It might be only a part of it. Because I think the moon in the Star World is, a, is shaped like a 3-up moon. Yeah. So, so it's it, just the, it, the glow of it. It might be a, like a corner tile or something on it. But yeah, Maybe this is nice. Teams. I like the quiet aesthetic it's going on. Very straightforward and subdued. A lot of Mario levels don't do that. Ooh, solid 50. Yeah. This would have been higher. I scored higher. from eternity. I just we... love the colors on these forest tiles. I think this we can talk a little pretty. bit more about production. Where did we leave off? What were we? What point were we talking about? Um, it got picked back up, and you said, "Let's finish it." And then I I trailed off by saying, "And it was really hard." Yeah, the the difficulty was a big problem with it. Like, well, why would I write this? But, but why? <laughs> Maybe to get back. But, um, it was really hard, and it relied on a lot of item carrying. Yeah. Quote unquote puzzles. Um, I mean, yeah. Those were really bad, and the final level was just super. Oh god. Fish, fish lasers. Um, the final level was just super long. Wait, where am I going? Hit between the two? I guess. They're pointing at each other. Oh. Oh, you, you drained the lake. You, you did it. But those fish were still... Oh, this is awesome! Oh. This we're going is back. Cool. That's why that platform's there. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> but yeah, SMW Central Production 1 is notable for being the first collaboration that we ever put out on the site. And, uh, it's notable for actually being finished as well. <laughs> But that's about... Yeah, two, two hasn't been finished yet. That's about it. Like, it's very, very rough, rough around the edges right now. Um, there was talk of revamping it, doing like a 1.5, trying to I fix some to. of the problems. But, um... There, I mean, there was interest, but... it Progress pretty, waned off pretty quickly. Yeah, so we just decided not to go through with it. I'm still going to use those uh, that idea I had to combine the sanctuary tiles and desert tiles to make a Chozo Ruins level. That's why these blocks were here. Huh. I wonder this why they were really there. They well kind of hindered. Level. They kind of hindered on the way over. And now you can, you can bust through there. Yeah. Really cool. 
Look at this shoreline background. Those are over mostly overworld tiles. Uh, the water is from the uh, the the castle ending cutscenes. Okay. I think. Uh, that backdrop back there, the that looks like the forest, is from um. I think that's actually from. It's in the cave's background. It. I don't know if the game actually uses it. I don't know. I've used it before. It sucks to put together, but it's there. What a what cool a... level. <laughs> I like that. That was really neat. Like, turning off the water and going back through it. Yeah, it worked out really well. And the thing was, sometimes when you have those levels that you go back on, you, you realize you're going to do it. I had no idea we were going to go back. Other than that one platform we didn't understand. <laughs> that was him. I guess so. Yeah, that was a really neat level. Peach Beach. Peach Beach. 28th place. All right. Time for some maxing and relaxing with that Koopa. He should really put some pants on, though. <laughs> I like hey. that transition. It's transparent layer 2. My friend. Yes, I know it's translucent. Everyone can fight me. <laughs> I don't want to touch that guy. Oh, coconut. I like those trees. I I know like they're just Yoshi's house trees. And that guy's people. gonna summon. That guy's gonna summon Super Koopas if I smack him in the head. Summon summon greater greater fish. Or the fish. I don't know what he'll summon. He might wake up all the Rip Van fish in the level. If there are any. I just realized that this is a uh, this is a beach mix. Yeah. It's probably one of the better like in theme Mario World mixes I've heard. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I had I didn't I, know this one. I like how it's styled after like a curvy beach level too. I was gonna say a little bit uh, more like uh, Mario and Luigi. But Super like not, not the song, the actual level. Oh, that it's was basic that, I think that was one. Gritzy Desert was one of the ones that came with the. Uh... Yes. Because God, that one was used everywhere. You're basically in Orange Ocean right now. But I want to be in Ice Cream Isle. Too bad. Deal with it. I really like this water to sand transition. It just looks really good. I like the transparent fake HDMA up there. It overlays as well. It's on the same layer as the water. Midpoint. Go get your midpoint. Oh! Ah, <laughs> coconut! <laughs> that coin's gonna signify another one. This coconut gun can drop on your head. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Zionic, because this level's so relaxing. See, it is a Kirby level. Yep. <laughs> oh! oh. Yeah, it definitely is a Kirby this level. This is cool! I dig this! Another level idea I've had for a very long time Bubbles. is... Well, it's it's a, basically a Kirby level, but Mario with like... You know how the Kirby levels, when you go to space, will have this like... Um, these big squares of water you swim in? Yeah. That but in Mario. This is this level is pushing all the right buttons for me. <laughs> and doesn't even have digging chucks or line guides. Well, these are drawn from line guides. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> Touched it. Yeah, it's because uh, I thought it was going to be water up there. Yeah. 
Yay! We escaped. We escaped the watery hell. Oh. Did we check the scores? No. 43. 47, 42, 43, and 43. Yeah, it had that mark. Yeah. There's a Mario World Central Production 2 level that does a similar thing with the, um, uh, the, like, a water transition like that. Mm -hmm. I helped work on that level, hi. Um, Man, Production 2 is gonna look so dated when it comes out. Not really, the graphics look fine. Well, I just mean, like, all of the technology has changed. Like, all these levels could have Layer 3 backgrounds now and stuff um, like that. They've been, as... <laughs> Because they've been basically oh. waiting on, like, I think credits and final boss for years now? They've been- Something like that's, that. That's some of the things they've been updating. There are actually Layer 3 backgrounds in some of the levels now. Oh. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense, because I know I know my level, Volcanic Panic, I, I kind of wish I could go back and edit some oh. of that level. Um, we accidentally um. walked into a Mario castle. Hi, Peach. <laughs> oh. We have oh, summoned- no. That's X-Animation. Yeah, but we have summoned the fires of the dragon coins. Oh, it turned Tried. Off. There we go. <laughs> that was a cool level. Yeah. Do. Do. Man, I love talking about old history on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a really cool level. I just really liked the beach the aesthetic that went on in it. It was, it was a it, cool beach. It was pretty basic in terms of what it did, but it did it well, so hey. Yeah. 